and welcome to RC Models. Before finishing off the trailer where I need to do the electronics, I thought I would go slightly out of order and make a start on this, the cat excavator. One of the main things that I wanted to develop in the trailer was the electronics to control the up and down and the end stops and I'm going to be doing that video next. However, one thing which I did discover with this was the little N20 motors and using the bolt thread with a nut to move it up and down. One of the comments which I got on this trailer was that perhaps I should be using a lead screw for a 3D printer and I've been wanting for some time to work out how I'm going to be doing the hydraulics on the excavator and various other Bruder models which I've been collecting. And having seen that comment, I actually ordered up four of these from eBay. I think it was £12 for four of them, where you've got a brass collar which goes up and down with mounting holes, and you've got this double threaded rod where it actually moves up and down quite quickly. One of the problems with using the coach bolt and a standard M thread is they're actually quite fine and any movements you're going to get are going to be quite slow. So having got this, I kind of couldn't help last night starting to have a bit of a fiddle around. So, so I put this collar in the lathe and turned it down, got my Dremel and made a little bit more space in here drilled a hole in the rod having chopped it down drilled another hole here and put a grub screw in and then using the using the other part of the fake hydraulic I've got something that will clip in the end here the last time I did an excavator was this one here which was the hobby engine one and this worked pretty well and it's got what were for Gelly and are now Actronix linear servos. The main drawbacks for me of this method is first of all being servos when you centre the sticks on the transmitter these will always return to their neutral position and if you're going to be putting four of these onto a model it can actually work out quite expensive so what I wanted to do was to find a way of doing it cheaply using as much of the existing parts on the model as possible and doing it as cheaply as possible so this is just another N20 motor 6 volta and I think it's 1 to 200 gear ratio in one of the future parts of the build video for the excavator I will show building this but I wanted to do my prototyping sort of off camera. Now, now by utilising the existing mounting points it's going to make it easy to put on and what I'm probably going to do is drill small holes probably one about there and one inside there and I can actually use a tie wrap to hold these onto the plastic shafts going across if these snap that's not really a problem because I'll just replace them with metal but in the first place I'm going to leave them as they are because my experience so far of the Bruder plastic is that it's been pretty good quality. If I keep everything the same way around as it currently is the bottom end here which will just clip in is absolutely fine and I'll just turn that round and the, and the other end you can see how that's going to foul on the plastic here. What you've also got is you've got this mechanism here which links the movement of this arm to the, to the angle of the bucket. Well we're going to be putting two of these on and so we aren't going to want that to happen and actually this is pretty unrealistic so the first job that I need to do is to actually remove this plastic piece here I'm trying to do it without taking all of this apart because I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to start by taking this off and this will give me the, the donor parts to make something similar to this but 
obviously shorter to go down here and I can see some of that black plastic here some of it here and obviously the handle there the fact that there are these locating pieces here I think gives me a clue and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drilling those out because hopefully it will just come out Well, what's left in there isn't actually doing any harm, but I do hope to get that out as part of this process. Right, that's that all out, that haven't done any harm, and by getting this out, it means that I can thread any wires. So the next thing that I want to think about is mounting this. So that will obviously clip, clip there nice and easily. And, just take that off for a second. As far as the other end goes, and I'll just take this off. The way that I've got this is effectively, if you just look at the other one, I've, I've mounted this part of the arm the other way up. And if you look in here, I've, I've cut a little bit out to seat the gearbox and then attached it using cable ties. As I said, I'll be showing the full build of this bit in another video when I build one of the other hydraulic units showing what I do on the lathe etc. So to get this on I have to actually take off the lead screw and that simply clips on underneath like that. Now we aren't going to get very much angle on this if I just leave it like that so I'm going to have to cut some material out of here but I'm going to want to leave the strength on this part here so Using the set square, I'm just going to mark out an area, and I and I would fully expect to have to cut out more to accommodate it. But in the first place, I'm going to cut out an area like that. Let's just try that. Clearly I need to take out a lot more here. Okay, having done lots of dremeling and cutting, so we've ended up, and if you use this point as a reference, actually coming down inside these two parts here, and inside there, if I just get the camera straight, you can see, you can see that we've actually chopped out quite a bit move the camera down so you can see completely in there okay and I'm actually dying to give this a go to see if it works I have, I have slightly weakened things there's a bit of movement there so I may end up putting a screw across but for the time being it's holding and just for testing purposes I'm going to leave it as it is attaching that part there and at this stage I'm not worried about a cable tie but you can see how 
that can actually move all the way inside which will give us enough angle for it to go all the way up. Putting this back on its shaft, screwing up the glove screw, that's it there. I'll solder a couple of wires on and we'll just give it a quick test. Right, let's just give it a quick go. Clearly there is some more work for me to do to refine the design, but actually I'm pretty impressed with that. I need to go back and finish the trailer and sort out how I'm going to use micro switches I think to do the end stops. I just thought that people might be interested to, um, to see how my ideas are developing on the hydraulics. If you've got any thoughts, suggestions or ideas I'd love to hear them. Once I've got this sorted, I expect that whatever method I finally come up with, I will probably be using on a lot of different models, but I think that there's promise in this. I like the fact that it doesn't return to centre. The speed seems to be pretty good. The amount of torque, I think, also is going to be fine. I'm going to need to make sure that this motor doesn't want to jump out of its mounting. I don't think that that's going to be too hard to do. All in all, I think a successful start to the CAT excavator project. If you're not subscribed, maybe now is the time to think about it if you want to see more of this model and some of the others. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and please keep the comments coming. I really do enjoy them. And once again, thank you very much for watching.